in terms of table space management, we have managed by system which is what we used in the examples earlier. So that is also known as SMS, stands for System Management Storage, where system refers to a file system. The containers can only be directories. SMS table spaces are fairly easy to manage. You don't need to pre-allocate anything. The file system will take off that. And the file will grow dynamically. Performance is very good but not the best. You cannot split index and LOB objects to table spaces. Everything has to be together. Regular table space types is the default and the only one allowed for SMS. For example, Earlier in this lesson, I created an SMS table space as follows db2 create table space tables page size 4k managed by system using C arrays buffer pool. Now let's create another table space with a different name and in a different directory. So let's call this table space my tables 4k. Page size is still 4K, managed by system using buffer pool BP4K and then we press enter. Note that directory erase 2 does not need to exist and it will be created when the table space is used. Then we have managed by database as known as database managed storage or DMS here the containers can be either a file or a raw device and you have to pre-allocate them with a given size it gives you more control in the sense that you can add drop you, while in SMS you could only extend containers unless you use something called red directory restore which will be discussed in the DB2 essential training 3 course with them is you can separate your index your table data and logs into separate table spaces. Large table space types is the default. For example, let's create a couple a table spaces and then let's create a table that will use those two table spaces. We issue a DB to create table space D data DMS1 that will be the name of the table space managed by database that means it's going to be a DMS table space using as mentioned before a file or raw device as your container in this case I'm going to use a file and I'm going to specify this file name Then I have to specify a size which is going to be 1000 pages and I'm going to press enter. I'm not specifying the page size so it will use the default. For them as the default are large table spaces and for them as the default are large a size of 8k for the page size so then I press enter. And then statement executes successfully. DMS1 and it's also going to be managed by database. So it's DMS and it's going to be stored in the file and I have to provide a full path and the same size so it's the same name for the file but in different directory. So then I press enter and I have created successfully my second table space. Now that I have this two table space created, I'm going to create a table using db2 as a create table, table call 1. I define it as integer, column 2 I define as integer and I say in data dms1 so that means the data will go to table space data dms1 and then I'm going to say index and index dms1 
So what that means is all indices should go to this other table space so that how I am separating the ta data from the index so that something you can do when you use them as table spaces. If I press enter, now the statement is completed successfully.